Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a scene like this in Blender. So there are three parts to it. The first part is to create the terrain itself. The second part is to create the water which has ripples and the sea foam. Then the next part is the terrain which has a rock texture. It has the mossy green texture. It also has the sand texture. And then you can see that there is a dark line which shows the wetness uh, to the mountains. Okay. So let us see how to create a scene like this in Blender. And I will explain you how the nodes work to bring this all together. We will just be using one plane for the sky, one plane for the terrain, and one plane for uh, the yacht. So what we will do is we will delete the cube and the first step is to add a plane and in the edit mode by hitting the tab key I'm going to scale it by typing 10 and okay so we make it big then I will subdivide it and we need a lot of geometry so I'll subdivide it 100 times and then get out of edit mode. I still need more geometry. So in the modify panel, I will add subdivision surface and make this two and apply it. Okay. Uh, so our plane has now enough geometry, as you can see, to create the terrain. Uh, we will go to the render properties. And we will move on to cycles because the displacement map will be only visible in cycles. We will add a material to the plane and we will name it terrain. And in the modify properties, if you go down to setting, we will change the displacement to displacement only. Alright, so now that the basic setup is done. Uh, uh, one more thing is we will make it uh, 720 by 405 for test rendering and under render setting I'm going to add a denoiser and I'm using this open image denoise. Okay, I'll show you how to get that online as well. It's a free plugin. Now if you go to shading, we will save this file. Give it a name, whatever you want, and we'll go to the shading tab. And here now we are going to work most of the time in our shading tab, and we are going to look at the viewport in the rendered mode. Okay, so in shading mode, you're not going to see the displacement. So it is very important that we organize this properly because there are three elements. One is the displacement. Uh, then we break it into the water and the mountain parts. All right. So first things for the displacement, we will add a displace modifier. Okay. And then we are going to use a ramp. Yeah. Color ramp to displace. And then we're going to add a noise. And then we're going to hit Ctrl T. If you had a node wrangler, edit preferences. You should turn on the node wrangler plugin. Okay. So we have the node wrangler connected to the noise. Noise fractal goes to the fractal. Color ramp goes to the height and displace goes to displace. And you will see displacement. Now the mid level will be zero. And when we bring this black color right, you will start seeing that we get some water area. Okay. And then the mountain area. Now we can increase the scale to bring the mountains big. All right. And now we can control the how much water and mountain is there based on the ramp. 
okay uh, you can then further modify the mountains using the scale and detail so I'll increase the detail so you can see now there is more detail to it you can work with the roughness and so on okay so you need like a nice area for water and then that's where we will set our camera okay so we will go to zero key for the camera and we'll set up our camera hit the n key and lock the camera view and in the camera settings we are going to use a low focal length which creates more depth to your scene okay and then we need some foreground and the background so i think this area is nice where we have some mountains in the foreground some in the background okay and then we can work with the camera angle so something like this looks good where we have this mountain and then there's some depth and then you can again work with the amount of water and amount of rock is there so we can work with that island in the middle all right so this looks good i'm not going to spend too much time uh, the other thing is that uh, once this is done we will look at this now the mountains are simply dropping into the plane all right we'll go to object shape smooth um, and then we will also change this from linear to ease and then the mountains will ease into the okay so this is our camera So to organize things better, what we are going to do is group our these elements because we are going to use them multiple times and I don't want too many lines going here and there. So I will select this and group this. All right. And then we are going to use this multiple times so to duplicate it and then we'll use it again when we need it so now that we have done our terrain we will color the separate the mountain and the water so this is mountain we will add a brownish color to it and then we'll add a new shader called glossy this will be the water so just add a little bluish tinge to it and we need to mix these together so we'll add a mix there are two shader uh, mix nodes. One is a mix shader and mix RGB. Mix shader will mix two uh, shaders and the mix RGB will uh, mix two colors or two textures. So we are going to mix this. Uh, so the glossy goes in one side. And then how these are mixed will be decided by our terrain ramp. Right, so this will go in the factor of it. Okay, by the way, we can simply connect this here, so this can be connected multiple times, but it creates a very complicated mess. So, I want to try and do this as clean as possible, so that's why I'm doing this. So, we will have this one node which will have multiple nodes connected to it this node is for the water which will have multiple nodes and this is our displacement node okay so now what we need to do is uh, play with our ramp so that we are able to separate you can see now the mountain is blue on top so we need to reverse it all right and then 
we need to decide where the water ends and where the mountain starts. So instead of is, we'll use a constant and then you can decide where you want the water to start. Okay, and have a pretty close so something like this. Now what we need is uh, we need the water to have the foam around the mountains and then the water itself. So we will add a mix shade here again. So add mix shader. So mix shader will be connected here. So one is the mountain and then we'll add a principled BSDF for the foam and then again we will use these two so shift D and then again we need to organize this properly so this one will connect to here all right so to see how this ramp works we will again go to ease or linear and we need to reverse it again okay so you can see that now we get the white foam okay and then we will play it around later on i don't spend too much time on this so do you want more or less sandy area okay so that is done now we need some roughness to that sandy area so we will again add bump and connect it to the normal and then we will add noise and connect it to the height and then we can then bump these values to get that bumpness okay distortion will not work then you can control how much bumpy you want that surface to be So that, that looks, that's the bumpy flow foam. And now we need uh, the ripples for our water. So this is our water. So again, we will add a noise ramp and connect it to the normal. And add a ramp in the middle actually we need to add a pump node that goes to the normal this goes to the height and again we'll increase this to 15 this goes to 5 distortion can be 15 and you can see now we get these ripples and then the bump can be like 0.1 or 0.2 and this can be So this can be 20 and this can be 5. So you can see that you get this long baby look. Alright. So that you can play with those numbers. So our baby is done. 
So we are done with the water now. Okay, water is done for the mountain. Now we will 